lead guitar number four. So I'm going to film this close up uh, just due to uh, the confusing nature of this. Now this is along the lines of um, uh, our week two exercise where it winds uh, kind of up and back along the neck uh, around the triad shapes. This is a little bit more confusing than the previous one. Uh, so I'm going to do the whole lesson uh, close up this way. Uh, but it's the same general rule. So we're trying to work um, our three triads. Now from last week they were A minor here, G here, and F here. And um, due to just the nature of the exercise, there wasn't a good way to do this particular exercise with this shape up here. So I chose to use the A minor down here and kind of wind in a cycle this way. Where you do an A minor, up to G, down to F, back up to G. Psycho circus music. So, um, the same rules apply though, is that we're going to be um, sliding into the triad from the note that was in the previous triad, or a note in the scale, rather, and using the finger that is going to end up becoming naturally part of the triad if we were to play the full triad with our, you know, as a chord. So um, this is going to start and get the tabs at walkerguitar.com and follow along, make your life much, much easier. It's going to start at the ninth fret on the D string, and you're going to hit this note with your third finger, slide down a whole step. Okay, so you're going to go, and you're going to do our same approach that we did last week, uh, I mean second week when we kind of went up. Instead of sliding under, we're going to slide from above because that would be where the G triad would be located. So we want that note, we're going to slide from 9 down to 7 and roll upwards in an A minor. So flat first finger doing that little roll. Okay, then you're going to have to lay down your, your uh, middle finger at 6 and slide up a whole step to get to G. Now the reason for that is our triad shape is up here and we need to land with the middle finger in the triad shape. This note is found in an F, so it's not the A minor note, but it is a note in the key and it's a note in a neighboring triad. So we're gonna do... slide up a whole step. And then just kind of roll down... that way. So six, eight, seven, nine and we found our G. Oops. Okay, now we're gonna take that same note and slide down again, and then build an F instead of an A minor. By the way, look at how similar F and A minor are. F, A minor. F, A minor. There's only one note different in those triads. Kind of awesome, kind of confusing. Actually, just totally awesome and totally confusing. So, um, that's part of our chain. So from the top, it's... So we went A minor, middle finger up to G, sliding down with the same note, but instead of A minor, F. Sliding up, again, to G to finish it off. So we play that G cycle twice, the exact same, and we use this slidey thing every single time, basically. So it gets more confusing. Um, but in some ways it's kind of easier, too. You just have to remember if you're on A minor, down here, or if you're on F, because no matter what, you're cycling back to G. So from the top, A minor, G, F, G, A minor, G, F, G. <laughs> kind of hard to say and do, uh, personally. So um, that's it for this week. Now. Um, uh, that might not seem like a lot of work, but there is a lot of work to be done uh, from the previous lessons and a lot of work um, 
in this it's, itself to actually get it nice and smooth. And it's kind of cool to just uh, get used to, like once you absorb the, the entire thing, to see, to see the neck change that way is very cool where you can kind of start to see A minor and G and F and how F is only one note different than A minor and then back to G again. So very cool. So um, that's it, quick little lesson. Um, make sure to, um, to get it under your fingers and stay tuned for next week where we do rock lead five and we're going to talk about how to um, creatively apply and substitute triads. So um, stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week.